Okay, remember, I'm Professor Jordan Edelstein. My key stats, IQ 140, nearsighted, and I once spent a sexually experimental weekend with Allen Ginsberg. And I'm Amanda Lane. I didn't take your name. That's fine, because you converted for me. Your parents weren't too happy about you marrying a Hebrew, but then my book started selling, and they changed that tune right quick. I was thinking we've been married about 17 years. Perfect. And I'm the head of the political science department at Harvard. Thank you very much. Political science? You should be an economics professor. What? No, I make my own backstory. Besides, I freaking hate economics. Fine. If you want to waste your life with political science, go ahead. God, you sound just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> You're just slightly better at this than I expected. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. I'm Rick, and this is Candy. I'm Amanda, and this is my husband, Jordan. We just moved to Langley Falls. Rick's a pediatrician, and I teach first grade. Oh, that's got to be good for business. She trips him on the playground, then sends him your way for bandaging. <laughs> <laughs> They're on to us, Cand. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you two. That was so fun. I wish it didn't have to end. Let's have him over for dinner. Oh, Stan doesn't like dinner parties. Well, I don't know who this Stan Yetz is, but you're married to Professor Jordan Edelstein, Ph.D., and he fancies a dinner party. Great. Let's have him over for Shabbos. Shh. Keep your voice down. We're at the club. Now, that lamp there we bought back in 89. I remember the year because Amanda and I had just seen old gringo and I wanted something heavy to bash my head in. <laughs> <laughs> you have a story for everything, even the wallpaper. Where did you say it was from? Egypt. We were there while Jordan was doing research for his economics dissertation. <laughs> Mandy, a moment. I told you, I don't study economics. I'm a political scientist. That's right. Oh, well, too late now. I said economics. It's been established. Candy. Candy, candy, candy. I can't let you go. Uh, how much you weigh, Candy? A hundred? We figure maybe 105? I guess about that. Mm-hmm. Pretty fit, tight. My wife used to look like you. Let's not get nasty, Professor. I'm just saying to the attractive girl that you used to look good before you went to rehab. I never went to rehab. You have now. It's been established. The fourth guy I should have married instead of Jordan was Bradford Dorn III. He had a yacht and a backbone. You're boring our guests with your pathetic rants, dear. Make me another drink, Jordan. He justifies his existence by mixing a passable cocktail. Yes, love. Whatever love wants. Amanda wears a hairpiece. What? Oh, yeah. Worst case of female pattern baldness the doctor's ever seen. Well, maybe if you'd studied medicine rather than economics, you'd be able to help me. In the words of every sitcom character in the early 90s and everyone in the Midwest through the rest of the 90s, don't go there. Come on, Professor. Tell the kids about all the economics conventions you attend. Discussing economics with the economics people. Tell them how you killed our baby, Amanda. Jordan, no! Real, real tragedy. Amanda was drunk, of course, and she wasn't watching the pool. We were at Lake Geneva. I was receiving an award for my work in... What was it, dear? Economics! I wanted to have another child, but her uterus was polluted from all the syphilis. You bastard! Ah! 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 